Gaming Bolt presents 15 bizarre ways video games got leaked, which made us go, what? Shocking video game announcements are a dying breed. Not very often do you see a developer or publisher announce a new game, and people are actually being shocked by it, because 99% of times we already know about these games. In this age of the internet, leaks have become very commonplace, almost too commonplace. So much so, in fact, that we've come to accept them as a very ordinary part of media culture. Some leaks, though, stand out in memory more than others, either because of how large scale they are or because of how bizarre the circumstances surrounding them can tend to be. In this feature, we're going to take a look at 15 such leaks. Star Fox 2 What makes this game's leak so bizarre is that Star Fox 2 is more or less a completed game. This was reportedly going to be the last Super Nintendo game. However, as the launch of the N64 got closer, the entire game was just cancelled. However, some developer who was passionate about the project just leaked almost the entire game online. Assassin's Creed Unity Another game that was leaked via mass transit. About a couple of weeks before Ubisoft would go on to officially confirm the existence of Assassin's Creed Unity, a user put up a thread on NeoGAF, claiming to have been given information on the next game in the series by someone close to the developers. And it's surprising how accurate the information they gave out actually was, from the game being set in Paris, to it being named Unity, to even something as specific as the fact that the protagonist would be named Arno. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Yeah another Assassin's Creed leak, and another leak via mass transit. This series does not have a good history with planes, apparently. Ubisoft officially unveiled Black Flag at the end of February of 2013, but close to a month prior to that, a Reddit user claimed to have been sitting behind a woman in a flight, who was apparently working on a PowerPoint presentation about marketing strategies for several games, one of which was Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. The leak was later substantiated by Kotaku, and when it became clear that it was a pretty solid leak, Ubisoft had no choice but to confirm it. Yakuza 6 The Song of Life This is probably the funniest of the lot so far, or from Sega's perspective, the most tragic. Yakuza 6 was supposed to receive a demo before launch, and Sega stuck to their word, and did end up releasing a demo on PlayStation Network. Players noticed something weird about it though, the file size was around 30 gigabytes. Why? Well, because Sega had inadvertently released the entire game instead of the demo. Players were able to play through the full game, or at least a large majority of it. Hell, they even got trophies while they played it. Of course, Sega pulled it down as soon as they realized, but the damage had already been done. Half-Life 2 a month before Half-Life 2's planned launch, German hacker Axel Gambe hacked into Valve's servers and stole the code for the entire game. The launch for the game was actually delayed as a result for this, and yeah, while this is all pretty huge, we haven't gotten to the weird part yet. Because later, Axel apparently approached Valve himself. Apparently he had stole the game because he was just really, really excited about it, never meant to leak it worldwide. He trusted someone with the data who then leaked it. He then apologized to Valve and then asked them for a job as a security consultant, at which point he was arrested by the German authorities. You can't make this stuff up. Halo Reach Halo Reach was obviously a pretty big deal, not just because it was a Halo game, which obviously makes it huge, but also because it was to be the last Halo game that Bungie would ever make. Remarkably though, weeks before the game's official release, hackers were able to steal the entire game from Microsoft servers, which was then uploaded onto file sharing sites. Some in fact even went on to leak the game's entire ending on YouTube. Halo ODST And then there's ODST. The leaks for ODST were quite different from most other leaks we've spoken of so far. There were no hackers involved, no stealing of data or code, no goof ups by the publishers in question. But boy, was there ever a goof up. An entire month before Halo ODST's official release, retail stores in France for some reason decided to start selling the game. To Microsoft's credit, they did manage to plug the leak fairly quickly, and only a few hundred copies of the game managed to make it out into the public before launch day. Halo 2 Yeah, Microsoft really sucks at this, don't they? Especially when it comes to Halo. Halo 2 was pretty big news, even back in the early days of the franchise, because let's face it, Halo hit the stratosphere with its very first game. Some people just couldn't wait to get their hands on the sequel though. About three weeks before the game's official launch, the entire game was stolen from a European manufacturing plant where game discs are pressed, and was promptly uploaded online. Microsoft, understandably enough, weren't too happy about it. If only they knew that Halo 2 would be far from the last Halo game to be leaked. 
Hell, even Halo 5 got leaked back in 2016. But you know what? Enough about Halo. Doom 3. This wasn't even a case of the game being leaked before its announcements, or being released online before its launch. Doom 3 was shown off at E3 2002 with a demo, but sometime later that demo was actually stolen and made available for everyone to download and play. Not only was the E3 demo playable, but so too were three of the game's earlier levels. What's interesting is that the reports that followed were quite controversial, with some claiming that ATI was responsible for the leaks. John Carmack himself blamed them. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS it's actually pretty surprising that this one is on a list like this, because Nintendo usually guard their secrets almost overzealously, and the rosters for Super Smash Bros. titles are some of the most well-kept secrets. However, back before the game was launched, three characters from the game's roster were actually leaked online. But here's the notable part. Apparently, these were leaked by the ESRB itself. This, however, remains unsubstantiated since the leaks were quashed by Nintendo far too quickly and before anyone had the time to dig deep into them. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Okay, this one's actually pretty stupid. Back in 2011, after the first four characters from Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3's roster were officially announced, people flocked to Capcom's website to get more info on these characters. The images for these characters that the publisher put up on their online servers had the characters' names in the file names, so all one had to do was swap out the name of an unannounced character with that of another one, and if the image came up, they'd know they'd be in the game. Literally within hours, the entire roster of the game had been leaked online. Credit to Capcom though, rather than trying to clean up this mess, they steered into it, commenting how happy they were with the response the roster had been getting from fans. The Last Guardian Sometimes hackers steal a game's files and release them onto the internet. Sometimes someone gets wind of a game's existence before its official reveal and tells the whole world. In 2009, Sony just went, screw all that, and just went ahead and posted the game's screenshots and trailer on official PlayStation blog by mistake. Shuhei Yoshida would later go on to claim that it was the work of a rogue Sony employee, but here's the weird part. For some reason, the post to this day has not been taken down. StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm Heart of the Swarm launched in 2013, but the entire ending cinematic of the expansion was actually leaked in 2010, more than two years before it launched. The cinematic was, obviously enough, not quite there yet in terms of production quality, with lip-syncing issues and poor animations, and fans just wrote it off as a clear fake, claiming that the plot it portrayed was too nonsensical. But, as it turned out, that was the real deal. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction Splinter Cell Conviction wasn't officially announced by Ubisoft until early 2007, but the existence of the game had actually been leaked long before that. A few months before the official announcement, about 2 gigabytes of files were stolen from Ubisoft servers. These files mostly contained concept art for a number of games, and one of these was actually Conviction. Given the drastic change in direction this series took with the game, the leaking of concept art before it was even announced obviously would not have sat well with Ubisoft. Far Cry 2 But Splinter Cell Conviction wasn't the only game that was leaked through those files. As we mentioned, there was a concept art for a lot of games in those files, besides Conviction, and while some of them, like Assassin's Creed, had already been announced, others had not. Far Cry 2 was also one of those games. By the time the game was officially announced by Ubisoft almost a year later, most people already knew that Far Cry 2 was, in fact, truly around the corner. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.